Of course, the question on everyone's mind there and airports around the world, when could this possibly end? And to help us answer that question is a physics professor, also host of Sci-Fi Science on the Science Channel, uh, Dr. Michio Kaku. Good to see you again. Friend Glad of the to show. be on your show. Is there any way to predict volcanic activity? Do we know what's going to happen? The only way to predict is to look at the past. In 1821, the very same volcano erupted for 13 months off and on. And in 1783, it was Benjamin Franklin in Paris who noticed a, a year without summer. Wow. The summer of 1783 was wiped out, said Benjamin Franklin, because of an Icelandic volcano. So these things come and go, but Mother Nature is throwing a tantrum at us. And of course, these days, the population has exploded, so so many more people are affected by this. But it's also the combination of this ash into the jet stream. Does that change seasonally? This is the perfect storm. First, you have the jet stream from Iceland going into Europe. The wind conditions are right. And the key factor is ice. Ice made all the difference. That's what we're looking for today. First, you have the magma punching through the glacier, bottled up energy punching through, glassifying the silica as it goes through the ice, rising three to five miles and then blowing into Europe. This was a perfect storm. And remember, it's like industrial grade sandpaper that we're finding here. Right, but the, is, is, are those wind patterns going to change seasonally? Like even if the volcano keeps going, could it change in a way that uh, it clears it out? That's right. We have to look at the wind patterns every day, almost hour by hour, because sometimes it'll blow in a direction that takes it into an area that's unpopulated. But yeah. it's the perfect storm right now. It's yeah. blowing right into Heathrow Airport. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stunning. So if you were sitting at Heathrow, knowing what you know about physics and, and, and this sort of thing, what would you do? I would kiss my ticket goodbye. Uh, President uh, Obama is going to be in big trouble. Uh, this is going to sputter for weeks at a time. Yeah. Some days will be clear, airplanes will be landing. Other days, oh my God. It may take us back to uh, 18th century sea travel and, and prop planes, if that, uh, if that has to be. That's right. And what we're doing now is we're using satellite data and airplanes to calculate how much ice is left. That's the key. Look for how much ice is left. It's the ice that made this ordinary volcanic eruption into the mother of all volcanic disruptions. Well, we've got Neil Karlinski over there keeping an eye on that glacier, Dr. Kaku. Great information. You all make it so accessible for us. Thank you. Thanks.